it blew off. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to this live stream. Um, if you're here, please comment down below with your just to tell me that you're here. Just to tell me that you guys are here, please in the chat, just tell me you guys are here so I can uh, so I can communicate with you guys. Okay, um, here, just say hello. Who's here? Where are you from? We're gonna do some vocabulary um, exercises today. Please let me know if you can hear me as well. Okay, that's important uh, for me to know. Okay. Um, so, seems like everyone's gone. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Please let me know in the chat section. We'll get started. We'll wait for everyone to show up. Okay. Can you guys hear me? It's a good question. Huh? Just want to make sure everyone can hear me. Everyone's here. Um, right? Is everyone here? Say hello in the chat box. I want to know that you guys are here. Okay. And um, we're going to do some vocabulary today. Okay. We're going to do some fun vocabulary for you. Okay. Um, I've, I've prepared some exercises for you, so I hope, I hope you enjoy them. Okay. Um, just waiting for a few people to show up because I know a few of you told me you were coming. Um, okay, there's two of you here. Oh, hi, hi, uh, nice to see you. It was nice chatting with you. Um, so I guess we'll get started then, okay? Um, so here we have an exercise, okay? A vocabulary exercise. Um, we have um, number one, two, and three. Okay, you can't see it too well, but I have some I have a word box, okay, with some verbs, okay, mostly verbs. Um, can you fill in the vocabulary here um, with the words in the word box? Let's see how quickly you can do that. Okay, Hayar, do you wanna do you wanna give it give it a go? Give it a shot. Um, we'll see how you do. Also, hi, yeah, just let me know, is the volume okay? Um, do you hear me well? Um, that's important to know. Can you hear me okay and everything? Just want to know. Okay, more people have showed up. So, hey, everyone. Um, we're doing a vocabulary exercise right now. So, let's see who can get the answers first here on this right hand side with this vocabulary. Okay, let's try this vocabulary exercise. Okay, I'm not two of strawberries. Which, which word fits from the word box? Which word fits and goes well? Okay, thank you, Hayar, you said um, you hear me loud and clear, perfect. So, um, Hayar, do you know, um, What's the first answer? I'm not two of strawberries. What's the first answer there? One of the words from the word box below. Okay, one of the words from the word box below. Right, I'm not two of strawberries. In my opinion, they are a bit too sour. So if in my opinion they're a bit too sour, that means you don't like them, right? You don't like them too much. So which word would go well in the first blank? So, okay, so um, Hayar says, I'm not too like a 
of strawberries. So when we use like, it's usually like, I don't like, right? I don't like strawberries, okay? However, okay, if you say I'm not too fond of strawberries, okay, I'm not too fond of strawberries, it means you don't like them too much, okay? Um, it's not your favorite fruit, okay? Um, I'm not too fond of strawberries, but good guess, uh, Haya. That's a that's a good one. I put like there maybe to trick you a little bit. Okay. Um, what about number two? No, I can't come in the water. If I jump in, I may. Which word? Which word would go well here? Which word would go well? Also, guys, for who. Uh, for whoever's listening, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot, helps me make more lessons for you guys, okay? Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Number two, Hayad, uh, if I jump in, right, if I jump in the water, right, no, I can't come in the water, if I, if I jump in, I may, which word, which word fits in well here? Which word fits in well? Let's see if you have any idea. Do you have any idea? If you guys are wondering, um, yeah, yesterday it was snowing. I guess the temperature has gone up a bit here in Canada. Um, it's It seems to be raining a bit. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I prefer the snow over the rain. What about you guys? Let me know. Let me know here um, in the chat. But Hayar, do you, do you know? Um, no, I can't come in the water. If I jump in, I may. What? I may. Do you have any idea? Okay, let me help you out, right? If I jump in the water and I say, I can't come in. I cannot come in. Okay. If I jump in the, if I jump in the water, I may drown. Okay drown right because drown means that you kaput right you you can't swim so you sink to the bottom right you drown and so Hayar says cool down no uh, so I can't come in the water I cannot come in the water so if I jump in I may drown all right Hayar does that make sense if you jump in you drown so you sink to the bottom and right you drown you can't breathe um, drowning's not good right you usually <laughs> you die after after you drown right um, have any of you had any experiences with drowning or almost drowning uh, hi are let me know anyone else listening let me know um, yeah it's uh Drowning is not a good thing, right? That's a good word to know, though. Drown, right? Um, make sure you don't drown, okay? Um, it's a good word. It's a good word to know, okay? Um, Hayar, do you have any comment on that? Does that make sense to you? Does that make sense to everyone listening? Um, if so, we'll move on to number three, okay? Can you my food in the microwave for me please which one would go here anyone listening hayad uh which one would go here also also hayad am i pronouncing your name correctly let me know okay um yeah so guys let me know your answers um, Hayar says, I think, okay, um, he's, okay, so I think, I'm thinking, okay, I'm thinking, right, present continuous, right now, I'm thinking, okay, um, good, so let me know, once you guys get your answers, think a little, which word could go here, in the microwave, what do you do with food in the microwave, right, what could it be, what could the answer be? Okay, 
Let, let's see what you guys come up with. I'm just trying to get this other exercise ready for you guys. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah. Um, Hayar, what do you have to say? He says, heat up. Perfect. Very good job. Right. Can you heat up my food in the microwave for me, please? Right. In the microwave, right, it's not a very healthy choice. It's better to do it... Uh, on the stove or in the oven, right? Because microwave that you have the... They say sometimes it can cause cancer, right? The waves. Um, hi, uh, anyone new? I see there are more viewers. Anyone new? Present yourselves in the chat box um, so we can communicate together, okay? Uh, Hayar is participating. Thank you so much. Uh, hi, Fortuna. Uh, hello. Um... Nice to meet you. Uh, please participate um, in the exercises. We were just saying here of strawberries. Okay, to fond means like, I don't really like strawberries. Okay, that's what that means. All right, so let me just, let me just pull up our second exercise here. Okay, let me get that going for you guys. So, Lock that in, and I'm just going to pop it up here. Be patient, guys. Um, hi, more viewers. So, guys, present yourself. Hi, uh, Fortuna. Uh, where are you from? Guys, present yourselves in the chat box. So, we're just doing some vocabulary exercises today. Um, a lot of fun. And we can see who, who gets the exercise um, right, okay? Um, that's it's good practice for you guys for your uh, vocabulary, right? It's a very it's very good practice. Okay, so um, let me just pull up the next exercise here. Okay, um, and pull that up right here. Okay, so let's fade that in. So I want you guys to choose the correct answers. Okay, so I have a few different exercises here for you, um, different questions, excuse me. So, the first one, how old are you? How do we respond to that? How do we respond to that? What's the best way to respond to how old are you? Right, it seems easy, but a lot of my students make this mistake, okay? Um, so is it I'm 15, I 16 years old, or I'm 15 years. Which one is correct? Let me guys know. Uh, let me know, guys. Let me know, okay? Um, which one is correct? Hayar, uh, Fortuna, do you have um, any idea of, about which one, which one is correct here? Just let me know in the chat box, right? Um, if you're having issues, also let me know, okay? Whoever is listening, um, if you uh, just came, um, please uh, hit that like button, um, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and answer this question, okay? So how old are you, right? We have two options, essentially, okay? So we can say, I'm 15 years old, right, the whole thing, or we can say I'm 15, okay? We can't say uh, I'm 15 years. That's not possible, okay? So we can say I'm 15 years old. Also be careful, it's not I have 15 years, it's I am, right? In English with age, we use to be. What about number two? Do you guys have any idea uh, for number two? Have you been to Paris? Let me know in the chat box, guys. Have you been to Paris? What's the answer? A, yes, I've been to. B, yes, I've been. Or C, yes, I have. 
which one is the best answer? Okay, which one is the best answer? Let me let me know, guys, in the chat box. Okay. Um, let me know how you guys are feeling today. I want to know um, all about you. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Okay. Um, do you have an idea? Any ideas about the answer? The answers to these questions. Okay. Um, any idea? Any ideas, guys? So we don't say I'm 15 years old. No, you can say, no, Hayar, you can say I'm 15 years old. That's good. That's fine. Okay. You can say I'm 15 years old or I'm 15. Okay. But you cannot say I'm 15 years, right? Not I'm 15 years. Okay, either the whole thing, I'm 15 years old, or I'm 15. Okay, so you make uh, the decision. You can say, I'm 15, right? That's the short version. Or you can say, I'm 15 years old. Okay, um, so yeah, just um, you can choose. Okay, what about number two, Haya? Do you have an, any ideas? about number two. Okay, number two. What do you guys think about number two? Right, number two, um, right, have you been, have you been, right, uh, present perfect, have you been to Paris? What do you think, what do you think about that? What do you think about that one? Hayar, do you have any ideas? Um, if not, uh, I'll go ahead and give you guys the answer. So, right, um, have you been, so I see another viewer has joined. Uh, guys, present yourself in the comment box. Hey, um, Samer Asak, cheers bro, thanks. Um, thanks for joining us. So we're just doing this exercise here. Number two, Zamed or Hayar, do you have any, or Fortuna, do you have any um, ideas um, for number two? Have you been to Paris? How do we respond? What's the best response here? A, yes, I've been to. C, yes, I've been. Or C, yes, I have. Which one is the best response? Do you guys have any ideas for that? Which one's the best, the best response? Okay, let me know what you think. Which one is the best response? Okay, um, I'm just gonna get this other exercise ready for you guys. You guys think, let me know which one is the best. Okay, which one's the best response? All right. Um, let me just make this bigger for you guys, okay? So, let's see what you got. Uh, I think, did you go to Paris? No, so the question is correct. Have you been to Paris, right? So, Zamer brings up a good point. So, um, did you go to Paris, okay? Did you go to Paris? That's the past simple. Okay, that's the past simple. Okay, did you go to Paris? And with the past simple, we're usually referring to a specific time period. So I say, did you go to Paris last week? Okay, um, if, if we want to know just if you've been to Paris, okay, we, do, we don't care when. So the when is not important. Okay, the time period is not important. We can use the present perfect tense. 
Okay, the present perfect tense. So we can say, have you been to Paris? And um, the correct short answer for that is, yes, I have. Okay. Or no, I haven't. Okay. I've been um, is okay, but it's not the best answer. Okay. Yes, I have. Okay. Or no, I haven't. Okay. Yes, I've been is also possible. Okay. Um, but not yes, I've been to. Okay. Not a. Not a. So you can say yes, I've been to Paris, the whole thing, or a shorter version, but not yes, I've been to. Okay. Um, so do you guys under understand the difference between the past simple and the present perfect? Do you understand the difference? Right, if I say, did you go to Paris last week? Specific, last week. Have you been to Paris in your life? Okay, I'm not talking about a specific time period. Okay, that's the difference. That's the difference here. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the difference. Okay. Um, so yeah, any questions? Any questions about that? How do we answer the short form of the past uh, simple? Right? If I say, did you go to Paris? How do we answer that? Hayar, Zamer, Fortuna, do you have any ideas about that? How do we answer, did you go to Paris last week? How can we answer that question? If I ask you, did you go to Paris last week? So Zamer says, why is C the best answer? Because um, it's the shortest, it's the shortest form, okay? And it's right with questions in the short answer, you just need to use the auxiliary, right? If I say, did you go to Paris last week? Yes, I did. No, I didn't, right? That's the short form answer. You just need the auxiliary. You don't say, yes, I went, okay? No, not yes, I went, okay? You just need the auxiliary, okay? These are short answers, okay? Um, we can't say, yes, I went. You can say, yes, I went to Paris last week, but you don't say, yes, I went. You say, yes, I did. Because did is the auxiliary. And when we answer questions in the short form, we use the auxiliary. Does that make sense, Zamer and Hayar? Does that, does that make sense to you? I wonder if that makes, I hope that makes sense. Okay, I hope it, uh, it makes sense to you. Okay. Um, does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Let me know. Let me know in the, in the comments, in the chat box, in the live chat. Does that make sense? Right? Did you go to Paris? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. The same thing, right? Um, are you coming over tonight? Right? Are you coming to my house? Are you coming over? I can say, yes, I am. Or, no, I'm not. Okay? Um, not, yes, I, uh, right? Um, you just, for the short answer, you can use the auxiliary, okay? So the auxiliary, are you coming over tonight, is to be, are you? So for the short answer, you can say, yes, I am. For, uh, for the negative short answer, you can say, no, I'm not. So Zamer says, yeah, I understand. Perfect, good, I'm happy. Um, so guys, let's move on to number three, okay? Whose keys are these? Whose keys are these? Is the correct answer they are her, they are hers, or they are hers with an apostrophe? Which one is correct? 
What do you guys think? Which one is correct? Excuse me. Still the morning here. Uh, sorry, guys. Okay, which one is correct? A, B, or C? Whose keys are these? So, in other words, um, these keys belong to whom? Okay, whose keys are these? Which one is correct? Here we only have really one correct answer. Is it A, B, or C? Hayar says, yes, I understand. Perfect. Um, so which one is the correct answer here for number three? Guys, if you're new, if you've just joined um, the live stream, please present yourself. Zamar, Hayar, Fortuna, they've been participating. Thank you so much for participating. Um, it helps the lesson I go a lot more smoothly. Okay, and it, it's fun for you guys, right? If you don't participate, it's not, um, it's not fun for you. Um, so what do you guys think about number three? So Zamer says the correct answer is C. Why do you think the correct answer is C? Zamer, what, what's your reasoning? Okay, why, why do we need an apostrophe? Why do we need an apostrophe for, for whose keys are these? Hayar, do you have the same answer? What do you think? What do you think? I'd like to know what you think. And Zamar, your reasoning. What's, why do you think it's C? Why do you think it's C? Anyway, guys, um, I'll let you guys answer that question because the chat is on a bit of a delay from when I, I speak, so I have to make stuff up on the go. Um, I'll just show you guys some stuff in the meantime what I bought. Look at, look at this. I got this at the supermarket yesterday, right? Do you know what this is? It's a spaghetti squash. Mmm, very good. Um, I'm going to... Cut it in half and put it in the oven later. It's a bit hard to cut because it's it's hard to cut, right? It's it's hard. It's a squash. Um, so these are still from um, the harvest from this year. Um, there are still a few left at the grocery store, so I picked one up. Uh, I also had one the other weeks. Amazing, very good. It comes out like sp uh, like spaghetti. Okay, like spaghetti, any Italians listening. Um, so um, the correct answer, the correct answer is A. So Hayar says A, Zamer says C. Uh, Zamer says, because the apostrophe shows the possession of the key to her. So you're getting a bit confused, Zamer. Okay, um, okay, you're getting a bit, a bit confused, okay? So when we're talking about objects, right? Um, we say, um, Haya <laughs> says, what's that? Yeah, I told you, it's a spaghetti squash, crazy, huh? It's a, but it's good. Um, so, whose keys are these? The correct answer is actually B. They are hers, okay? Um, why is it they are hers, okay, um, because, okay, we're talking, we're talking here about possession, okay, so we're talking about possessive, okay, possessive pronouns, all right, we're talking about possessive pronouns, all right, possessive, let me just write in the chat, possessive pronouns, so we're talking about possessive pronouns, right, possession, so we say mine, uh, yours, his, right, um, hers, its, right, ours, etc. Okay, um, these are the possessive pronouns. Okay, um, 
okay? No, it's not high R. It's not because the keys are plural, okay? Um, it's because we're talking about possession. So they belong to her. So if I say, right guys, I can say, this is my spaghetti squash, okay? So I can say, this is my spaghetti squash, okay? Or if I want to replace spaghetti squash, I can just say it's mine. Okay, it's mine. Without using the noun, I can just say it is mine. Okay, if we have Maria, I can say this this is her spaghetti squash, okay? Or, and this is where Zammer's point comes in with the apostrophe, I can say this is Maria's, okay, spaghetti squash. Okay, so when talking about possession, and you use the subject, right? Um, right, uh, Maria, okay, Maria, this is Maria's spaghetti squash, right? Um, so we're talking about the, squ the squash that belongs to Maria. Okay, if we use Maria's name, right, um, we have to, Use the apostrophe to show possession, apostrophe S. But if we want to replace everything like it's mine, we just say it's hers with an S. Okay? Even though it's only one. So, Hayat, it's not because keys are plural. So we say it's hers. Um, for Plural, right, we say they are hers. Okay, so you see the difference there? Okay, um, the plural and the singular, right, um, it's versus they are. Okay, but the possessive pronoun is the same. Okay, they are hers. It's hers. The apostrophe s comes in when you use the person's name, right? So this is Jim's bike, okay? We can say it's his bike, or we can replace everything and say it's his, okay? Does that make sense, guys? Hayad, um, Zamer, uh, Fortuna, everyone listening, does that make sense? Does that make sense to you guys? Those are possessive pronouns, okay? So we can use possessive pronouns, okay, to sort of replace our nouns here in our sentence. So instead of saying his bike, right, um, we can just say it's his. If we know what we're talking about, if we know the context, okay, it's not a problem. Okay, it's not a problem to replace it. I'm sure in your language, you have words that replace other words, right? I'm sure uh, that's a thing because it gets long when you have to say it's his bike, this is Jim's bike. Yes, that's grammatically correct, right? But if you know already, if you've already mentioned it in the conversation, it's, you don't need it, right? You don't need it, okay? So, for example, let's do another example, okay? Avocados, okay? I can say, these are mine. Or I can say, these are my avocados, okay? I can say, these are mine, or these are my avocados, or I can say, um, these are Professor Monty's, with apostrophe S, right, Zammer? Uh, avocados. 
Okay, so those are our three forms for possession. Okay, we can also use the verb to belong to. So I can say these avocados belong to Professor Monty. Or I can say these avocados belong to me. Okay, belong to is to show possession. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Um, whoever's listening, please drop a like, um, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. So Zamer says, yeah, perfect, perfect, okay? Um, Zamer, I have a question for you, okay? Um, if we want to show possession, okay, um, right, with a plural, okay, um, for example, my sisters, right, plural, my sisters, um, husbands, okay, um, husbands, okay, what do we do? Do we just add an S, apostrophe S, an apostrophe? How do we show possession, right? Like the husbands of my sisters. But in English, we don't use of uh, for persons, uh, right? For people or animals. We only use it for inanimate objects like things, right? Like the trunk of the car. But for people and animals, we use this apostrophe or apostrophe S system. So which one, which one is correct? If I have a plural that ends in S, like my sisters, Maria and Susie, okay, um, my sisters' husbands, do I put apostrophe S, S, apostrophe, what do I do? What do I do? Zamer, Hayar. Do you have any idea? What do I do? What's the best, what's the best um, option here? Or the only option, the correct, the correct option. In the meantime, let me show you guys this little thing. Almond butter, guys. That's good for you. Almond butter. I picked this up, this baby up on sale. Um, it's a good alternative to peanut butter. It's uh, better for you. Um, yeah, better quality. A bit more expensive, but yeah. Um, so Zammer um, says, yes, yeah, sir. Um, which one is correct, Zammer? Do we put my sisters with an apostrophe? So Hayar says, my sisters. Apostrophe S. So Hayar, is that singular or plural? Right? Because I want to refer to my two sisters, Maria and Susie. If I put my sisters, isn't that singular? Isn't that singular? What do you guys, what do you guys think? Um, my sisters, like that, is that singular or plural? Hayat, is that singular? Excuse me, is that singular or plural? Plural. Okay. Um, I can also show you guys this here. Look at this. <whistles> cookies, huh? My uh, grandmother made me these cookies. I'm going to enjoy them later. Um, not too many, of course, okay? Um, so, Zammer says, my sister, husbands. No. Okay. Um, you guys are both a bit off base, okay? So, when you have... Let, let's start with the singular, okay, a singular, okay, um, you can say, okay, um, my sister's boyfriend is Tom, okay, apostrophe S, okay, singular, okay, my, uh, for example, um, my cousin's wife is Susie. Okay, singular. Just add apostrophe S. So you add apostrophe S. Okay. Um, singular words 
that end in s, okay, um, for example, okay, um, so Harry says my sister's husband, close, right, I'm talking about the singular here, okay, let's start, so singular, my sister's boyfriend is Tom, singular words that end in s, right, Thomas's wife is Susie. Jesus's mother is Mary. Okay. Jesus's mother is Mary. So you notice here, I put Thomas's apostrophe s or Jesus's just apostrophe. So with singular words that end in s, okay, you have a choice, okay? You can put a, add apostrophe s or just apostrophe, okay? So it's your choice, all right? It's your choice, okay? Um, add apostrophe s or just apostrophe, okay? Um, but for other words, right, like my sister's boyfriend, you have to add apostrophe s, okay? Let's move on to plurals. Okay, for plurals, all right, um, what you need to do is add, okay, what, right? So we said my sister's husband's. So for plurals that end in s, right, you just add the apostrophe. Okay, you just add the apostrophe. Okay, you add the apostrophe. Okay, so for example, um, my cousin's uh, house is huge. It's so big. Okay, my cousin's house is huge. Okay, do you guys also notice the difference in pronunciation? Okay, between the singular words that end in s and the plurals that end in s. Okay, what's the difference? What's the difference here? Okay, is it um, my, uh, so listen, listen carefully. My cousin's house is huge. My sister's husbands are Tim and Joe. Okay, Thomas's um, what did I say? Okay, I said uh, Thomas's wife is Susie. Jesus's mother is Mary. What's the difference in, pronun in pronunciation? Right, Thomas's wife is Susie. My cousin's house is huge. I went to my grandparents' house. My sister's husbands are Tim and Joe. Okay. What's the difference here? What's the difference in pronunciation? Do you guys hear the difference? Hayar, Zamer, Fortuna, thank you for participating so far. Um, do you guys hear the difference? Any difference in pronunciation between the two? Any difference at all? So the difference, guys, is you for singular, okay, you add a little is sound. So Thomas's, Thomas's wife is Susie. Thomas's wife, okay. Um, for plural, you just say regular, my sister's husband's, okay. You don't say my sister's husband's, no, 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 no. Or my grandparents' husbands. No, 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 no. Uh, my grand grandparents' house. No. My grandparents' house. My sister's husbands. Okay? So in the plural, when there's just an apostrophe, just say it regularly. If it's a singular word that ends in S, you say Thomas's wife. All right? Um, I hope that makes sense. Okay? Um, do you guys have any questions about that, any questions at all, okay? Um, 
I'd love to hear your questions, okay, regarding that. So any questions, guys? Any questions about that? Um, you see here, I like my fruits and vegetables. Here's a banana peel, okay, nice bananas. I bought some beautiful bananas, 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 okay, here. Um, I also have my Christmas advent calendar, okay. Um, each day we open a new one, a new chocolate, and we eat a chocolate before Christmas, okay. Um, this is the NHL hockey, right? We play it on ice, okay, hockey. Um, here's my favorite team is over here. Toronto, oops, Toronto. It's my favorite team. Um, any questions, guys? Seems like there are no questions. All right, well, um, I think I think we're just gonna we're gonna end it for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming. Okay, um, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure being with you. Um, I hope you have a good day. Okay, I still have my full day ahead of me. Um, a lot of work to do today. So thanks, guys. Uh, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Hayad, Zamer, Fortuna, for participating in this live stream. Without you guys, it's not possible. So thank you guys so much. Uh, God bless you. See you in the next one.